Leona Lewis seemed to be well on her way to taking over the music industry when she released her hit song Bleeding Love in the late 2000s. But then everything came crashing down around her when she got some really bad news and pretty much disappeared from the spotlight. And you'll never believe what happened to her. After winning season 3 of The X Factor UK in 2006, Leona got signed by Sicko Music, which is a music label owned by Simon Cowell. Besides the fact that Leona is a very talented musician, Simon really believed in her from the beginning and so he wanted to work with her and Leona proved that she was ready when she released her first cover song, A Moment Like This, which became a crazy hit. The song had over 5,000 downloads in the first 30 minutes of going live, which is just absolutely crazy. No one was expecting that. The song became a hit all over the world and people just wanted more from Leona and she didn't disappoint. She got to work and released her debut album titled Spirit in 2007. I'm sure you remember the hit song Bleeding Love, which became insanely successful. Besides selling over 10 million copies all over the world, it also hit top spots in music charts in multiple countries. And that's not all. Leona also won several awards, including MTV Europe Music Awards and World Music Awards. Everything was going well for Leona until it all came crashing down pretty much as soon as it started. It all began with her debut album. Even though the song Bleeding Love did extremely well, the album in general didn't do as well as expected. A lot of people were rooting for Leona, but it seems like very few got to know that she had even released an album. Some people on social media blamed the record label for not promoting the album enough. They had such high expectations from Leona and even compared her to the likes of Whitney Houston and Mariah, which is why they were so disappointed that her first album didn't do very well. But Leona didn't give up. She soon went back to the studio and released her second and third albums, but they still didn't do as well as expected. Some critics even said that the albums felt rushed. But what was really going on? The future looked so bright for Leona when she first got started in the industry, but things just weren't going right for her after that. The whole situation was very confusing, especially because Leona was still working with Simon. He is one of the greatest music executives. So did he fail Leona, as some people have alleged? Well, it looks like he did and the reason behind it will surprise you. When Leona announced that she was leaving Simon's record label in 2014, I'm sure most people weren't all that surprised. Leona announced her departure from Sicko Music on social media and you'll never believe what she said. She said that Simon had been incredible to her, but the record label had failed her. She felt like her career wasn't getting the attention it required, and that was why she was leaving. But that wasn't all. Leona also said that the record label had grown significantly since she joined, and she was allegedly being rushed to produce music even after raising her concerns. She shocked the whole world when she revealed that the label had allegedly taken advantage of her, yet they weren't willing to explore her potential. She even said that she felt controlled because people in the label had been telling her what to say and how to act, and even how to do her music. Leona said that the people she was working with had been holding back her potential because they kept telling her to do covers that she just didn't want to do. As a new musician, Leona said she was excited to try new things with her voice, but the label allegedly just wouldn't let her. Leona said that she felt silenced and controlled. She knew that she'd never know her full potential if she continued working with the label, so she just had to leave. The situation was so bad that Leona became extremely depressed at some point. She said that she felt sad and frustrated because doing music her own way was all that she'd ever wanted. Even her parents realized how sad she had become, and they insisted that she had to do something about it. Leona finally left Sicko Music and got signed by Universal Music Island Records in 2015. And I guess that she was ready and excited for that change because she released her fifth studio album the same year. Unfortunately, things didn't go as expected. The album was different. I mean, literally everything was different. From her sound to the lyrics, I'm sure Leona was more than happy to try different things and express herself as she did in the album. And I'm also sure that she was ready to keep going, but then something terrible happened and the details are really sad. After going quiet for almost two years, Leona revealed in 2017 that she had been unwell and that's why she disappeared from the spotlight. 
she revealed that she had been diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis and hyperthyroidism. Leona said she noticed something was wrong in 2015 when she started battling chronic fatigue and pains in her neck and throat. At first, she thought it was just fatigue because she'd feel overly tired during her performances, but then it only got worse. She decided to seek medical attention when performing became a struggle, and that was when she got diagnosed with the two conditions. Leona says she felt scared and devastated. She knew it was going to affect her career, which was the one thing she was focused on building. But then she admitted that her health was more important than her career, so she decided to slow down. Leona said that she started researching how other people manage the condition, and she realized that she needed to make some lifestyle adjustments. She started using natural beauty and lifestyle products to reduce toxins in her body. She also started eating better, and it seems like she's been doing okay because she's back to performing. Leona announced a major homecoming UK tour that is going to run all the way to 2023. The tour dates have already been released, so it looks like Leona is back. And there's more good news. She also gave birth to a baby girl. Leona got married to dancer Dennis Launch in 2019. During her interview with Glamour, Leona said that they had plans to adopt a child, but it looks like things took a slightly different turn for them. She got pregnant at the end of 2021 and gave birth to a baby girl named Carmel Allegra in July of this year. Leona and her husband seem to be really happy and excited about starting a family together. They've been sharing photos of their baby on social media with some really beautiful captions. It's honestly really great to see Leona doing so well, especially after everything that she's been through. But what do you guys think? Are you a fan of Leona? Which of her albums is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below.